and welcome back to Rechu's Talks with Simon Lehman from HAL Atelier. Today is an extremely special session. First of all, it's the 10th edition of Rechu's Talks. And secondly, today we have officially launched the partnership and the products together with Hotel.School and HAL Atelier, which is education for the vacation rental industry that we desperately need. Today, it's a great pleasure to welcome Patricia Iluma from Hotel.School and Natasha Morgan from Safe Stay in Australia. So first of all, I want to kick off with uh, Patricia. Welcome to Retro's Talks again. You're one of the first who uh, came second time to uh, Retro's Talks. Today's a special day for the launch. Welcome, Patricia. Tell us about it. What are the news for today? Well, thank you for having me again, Simon. And for those of me who saw the last uh, uh, Red Shoes talk, I promise to be, I speak no longer than 20 seconds. I am just here to celebrate with you and Natasha the launch of our so awaited vacation rental collection, launching today with two courses going live, your course on revenue management profitability and Natasha's on operations and management for the sector. We're so excited. Natasha, I, it was such a pleasure working and developing this with you, Simon, the entire collection. So it's a good day for us at Hotel That's Cool. It's a great partnership with HAL and with this star studded lineup of subject matter experts. So thank you very much. Thank you, Patricia. The working experience together with Hotel That's Cool was incredible, also for us at HAL Atelier. But today <clears throat> it's even more special because we have the opportunity to actually meet one of our amazing subject matter experts personally. And it's not somewhere here close, it's actually all the way down under in Australia. So Natasha, welcome to Red Shoes Talks and please give the audience a quick introduction about yourself. Sure, thank you for having me, Simon. And hello, Patricia. Um, so yes, I'd like to introduce myself. I'm Natasha Morgan. I'm from Safe Stay Australia. In Australia, uh, we are a short-term rental certification company. Um, we, we ensure quality assurance for short-term rentals through our program that we do. Um, I'm also the CEO and co-founder of My Home Watch, which is a um, home and pet watching service for travellers and for um, uh, for property owners and homeowners and hotel, um, sorry, not hotel, holiday rental owners. I've been doing that for the last three years, but previous to that, I was a spent eight years actually being um, managing Oh, well over a $15 million worth of luxury homes around Australia and spent my time really um, looking after these homes, coordinating gardeners, cleaners, uh, chefs, all of that kind of thing, and really looking after these properties for um, the people I was working for. So my experience in this industry has been um, quite long. It's been really enjoyable, and my love and passion for the prop uh, for the property sector really has grown from my experiences. Wow, that's an incredible CV, and I guess Hotel School and AGL uh, Atelier couldn't have asked for a better subject matter expert when it comes to operations and with the experience that you bring. Um, let us, you know, one of the next questions I would like to ask you also for the audience, what made you actually choose the project to partner with us uh, on providing an operations uh, course with us? Sure. So I was really excited to hear about the project. Um, it's a very unique um, education program. I felt that it's really necessary at the moment, obviously due to COVID and how um, the industry has evolved. I think that education um, is really important. And as soon as I heard about it and the way that the course is being developed into these micro um, section uh, courses where, whereby you can actually learn at your own pace, it's an affordable course, it's jam packed full of valuable content, resources, and best of all, you get to learn from industry experts that actually have experience in the industry uh, as soon as I heard that, I was straight away, you know, on board and knew that that's something I wanted to be involved in. Fantastic. So uh, <clears throat> we can definitely share with the audience that we had a great lineup and a lot of interest. And uh, we definitely wanted to choose you for operations as well, especially with the experience that you're bringing. But you said 
before, and I want to little go a little go a little bit deeper on that, Natasha. You said education was very important in that sector. Why is it that important? Where do you get it otherwise? I think it's been difficult for a lot of property managers and a lot of hosts to be able to find and source the right kind of education. Um, I think there's been a lot of noise around different kinds of education and that's where I feel that really um, having the experts come in and actually do the courses through their experience, I feel that's where the most value is going to be for anyone wanting to do a course. Um, and I just feel that it's been really tough for people to actually find the right courses um, and, and actually get value from what they're doing within these courses for the industry. So, and I feel that also being in Australia, um, it's so great to be able to do something that is on a global scale instead of just for your country. I feel that um, what hotel school is offering here is something global. It's not something that's just for Australians. It's actually on the global stage. Um, you know, we are all one. We are in a united industry. And I feel it's really important that we're all learning the same operational experiences and the same education through obviously these subject matter experts that I've joined. Fantastic. And I <clears throat> have to say, I couldn't agree with you more as, as us being such vacation rental enthusiasts. And we know we still have to lift the game quite considerably when it comes to hospitality in general and providing a better uh, customer experience when they come and stay in a vacation rental industry. I think in a, in a vacation rental product, we always said we really need to lift our game. And I think with education, we can underline that to make sure that we're <clears throat> you know bringing these amazing um, experts to the forefront to help people to make a better product uh, that vacation rental already is today. And, you know, one thing we should not forget, we're still addressing about 60% of global travelers who are never rented before and always stayed in hotels and never in vacation rental. And if we want to capture those, we definitely need to bring the best uh, experience that we possibly can. Now, in terms of your course and share a little bit in, in how, you know, it's a huge spectrum in who we want to address or who you want to reach out to with the course that you have produced. What do you think is your key target audience and who should really listen uh, to your course and, 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 and the rest of the courses that we have produced? That's a great question. Look, I think um, the course is really um, great for, you know, current vacation rental managers, whether it's large or small, um, homeowners that are self-managing their properties, someone who's just getting into obviously the vacation rental business as well. Um, it's also fantastic for realtors and obviously, obviously real estate firms um, and builders and developers. Anyone from an absolute beginner right through to someone who's an advanced operator, I think can benefit from our courses. Um, and I think the value and the resources that we're providing through these courses is, you know, it's really at the forefront of, um, of, of, you know, this kind of, of where it needs to go and who, who can actually benefit from doing this course, definitely. May, may I just add, Simon, that from Absolutely. our perspective, from our perspective, we also feel that it's very important for hoteliers to take this course and in, in fact, the entire collection. We feel that a well-rounded hotelier needs to understand the specificities of the sector. So that's why we're also excited to bring, you know, new knowledge, new skills, new opportunities to the traditional hotelier as well. Yeah, that's a great point, Patricia. And, we, you know, we realized that together when we produced these courses that weekend and for you, it was an eye opener to hear so much about this industry. And obviously in the past, in, in my capacity, I, I had a, a lot to do with hoteliers and, 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 and a hotel association. And for them, our entire industry was reduced to Airbnb. And I think it's far beyond Airbnb what this, what this industry is doing. And therefore we need this education. That's a very valid point. And I think it's great that hoteliers also understand we're not Airbnb. We are actually the ones who deliver the last smile and, and make sure the property is in perfect order when the guests arrive and they have a good experience when they stay with us. So I think that's a very valid point. Now let's lift the curtain a little bit, Natasha. You've uh, worked super hard. Tell us your, tell us about your ride to work with Hotel.School and AJL Atelier on, on producing this operation uh, course. Yes, absolutely. Um, it has been quite a ride, absolutely. Um, very challenging. I, I enjoyed the challenge. There was, um, you know, a lot of a lot of um, soul that went into the actual um, course structure. 
a lot of preparation, obviously. It took, um, yeah, a lot of time um, uh, writing the course and getting it all together and making sure that the value I was adding to students that were going to be taking the course was there. Um, yeah, look, it's been an amazing ride to be able to work with obviously you, Simon, and you, Patricia, and the whole team. It's been amazing. Um, I've really enjoyed it all. Um, when we went through and obviously produced it as well and did all the filming, uh, that was that was amazing. I did, I think, six hours of filming uh, within, uh, I think, nearly 30 lessons. Um, so we, yeah, we got straight in there and did such a great job of producing it and getting it out um, and getting it filmed. That was a real buzz um, and I really enjoyed it. So yeah, it's been awesome working with you all. And yeah, I can't, I can't say enough about it. So now we can't wait to see Natasha around the world on the internet uh, talking <laughs> yeah. about vacation rental operations. And I can only second that what you said for me was an amazing experience to produce these courses and and it's been great uh, a great learning curve as well especially producing good quality content which as you said earlier on the call which is great value for money as well what uh, what has been produced so what are you actually talking about uh natasha we heard about your courses we heard about your production what are you telling us in your course yeah, sure. So I'm looking after the operation man operations management side of things. So in this course, we really introduce people to the operational side of running a um, vacation rental. It's basically enabling everyone to and their teams within their organisations to be able to get the most out of their operational experiences through the lessons. And we cover different things like safety, security, regulations, insurances, um, and they receive several operational checklists along the way to be able to um, implement into their business um, straight away, which is awesome. And then obviously we talk about maintaining standards within the industry and then give people um, obviously tips and advice on what to do within that structure of their business as well. So a, a lot of that, can you tell us about the structure and how is that cut down or how does the student actually consume these courses how does how does that work so i got to have my uh, obviously first look at the course today and it looks absolutely amazing the best thing about it it's really engaging so um, what i loved about it so much is that there's different animations there's different pictures you obviously get to hear me talk um, through the course as well but it keeps you so engaged with what you're actually doing and then at the end being able to actually implement that into your business after each lesson and actually learn from it um, as you go. So you do it at your own pace. So you can actually implement straight away into your business if you want to. Doing Being able to do that is, is just, you know, it's so great. So um, what I found with it is, yeah, it's really, really inviting. It looks amazing. It keeps you engaged. And yeah, it's just fun to actually do. So. Excellent. Patricia, are there are there also exercise planned or who, uh, how is this going to work? Absolutely. There are quizzes, there are exercises. Uh, Natasha has also provided a, a couple of a lot of um, added reading, reading, so bonus materials for those who would like to go deeper into a topic. The whole idea is the brain based micro learning framework. So it is engaging and it should be because we're doing micro bites of of, of, of content, right? You're not sitting there for hours and hours. You can, those who are overly excited can, but it is self-paced. We do recommend that you take two to four weeks to take the course. You're taking about you know, 15 to 30 minutes a day. That's how we, we, we envisioned it. That's the, the, the theory behind it. Uh, but I have to say the checklist that Natasha mentioned are such a nice takeaway because literally you, you can apply that to your business, A, B, C, D, and it's it's so applicable and so impactful. So that's the idea, I love it. Excellent, so, you know, I guess Hotel.School and AJL Atelier could have not chosen a better time uh, to launch his course while the entire world became digital nomads. Now, you, you, ma you made a little statement before very quickly, and I would, I would like you to elaborate a little bit more on that, Patricia. You said brain-based micro-learning. This sounds very freaky. What is, what should we understand from that? So the whole idea behind brain based is is to examine how it is that we best absorb content and knowledge. And I don't know if you you follow these statistics, but you know that 
our attention span today is about five seconds, which is actually less than a goldfish. And I think I've seen this years ago and it keeps getting shorter. So the idea is we are the, the, the way that we absorb content best is when it's given to us in bite sizes. And the idea is uh, the whole thing behind brain base is how to best engage um, in, emotionally the learners so that you will remain retain that information. And that's why we use unique. This content is exclusive because yes, while potentially you can say, well, the SOP is, is it, it is what it is, but the stories that Natasha and the other SMEs are telling enriching the content that creates that emotional link to it. Uh, the examples, the, the assessments and the way they're timed. So everything is made to reinforce your, your learning. Well, having five children, I know what the attention span can be also with children as well. So I can only relate to that and even ourselves. Right. So it's it's definitely a challenge. And, and uh, you know, reading books today um, is actually uh, uh, also a challenge has become a challenge for us. And uh, and I think it's great that you're addressing it accordingly. So we make it it's, it's actually good, digestible and usable for uh, for our audience, which is uh, which is fantastic. Now, going back to to Natasha quickly, um, you know, you've entered this industry quite a while ago, but but let's assume, you know, when you when you started that, what thinking back, what would you have wanted to know before entering that industry? Oh, look, I think before embarking on the industry, I would have wanted to know, oh, there's so many moving parts to this industry. I think um, educating myself before I had jumped into the industry would have been of so much value. Um, but absolutely, um, I think what I wanted to learn was really how many different sections to this um, industry is there. And there are so many. And I think when people jump in, they think, okay, I'll I'll either purchase a property or rent it out, it'll be easy. Um, and then they jump in there and realize, hang on a minute, there's way more moving parts to this than what I thought. Um, and obviously, yeah, being able to have learnt in, in structure, um, the, all of these courses, not just mine, but obviously all of these courses would have provided just so much benefit to me before I actually started. So. Yeah, it's, it's one of those things where I think, um, you know, it would have made the world a difference to me, really. Especially with your franchise, where you really do the super, super uh, operational stuff on the ground. I was watching some of your videos and, and looking at you walk, walking dogs and, and, and mowing lawns. And, and this is what the oh, operation yeah. is. <laughs> this That's is it. what the operation is all about. And, you know, this is why yeah. you are the perfect subject matter expert, <laughs> because you had all the experience. You know what this means, right? Well, this is it. Yeah, absolutely. And this is where, you know, we have uh, personally got to know homeowners um, within the company. And obviously through our franchisees, you know, really getting to see the pain points that people experience with their homes um, and with their rentals and how they, you know, need help in certain areas and being able to do that for them. It's something that is, you know, really amazing. Um, my passion, obviously, is helping other people you know, create a business for themselves in that home service sector of being able to offer these kind of services to these homeowners. So for for us having that education, um, yeah, look, it's it's something, you know, of great value. And I think that like you're saying, watching us in videos, um, seeing us walking dogs, we know where people travel to, we know how homeowners need help. Uh, we know what needs cleaning, gardening and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, operations means a lot of things. And um, yeah, I'm definitely on top of it all. That's for sure. Excellent. Ex that, that's what we like about the Australian hands-on approach. Uh, being half Australian myself, I can relate to it uh, very, very well. Um, you know, going back, to, you, you said something very important, uh, Natasha. And when we, when we talked about the, the, the target audience that we have um, is obviously massive and then patricia added the hoteliers as well which even more so for them to actually understand our industry even better we are seeing now convergence where hotels also turn into short-term rentals or we you see you see hotel hoteliers who are building vacation rentals next to their hotels as well so they can mix and match uh, stuff but what about 
What about homeowners? I mean, the relating to your course that you are produced and you know it best from all of us in terms of content and everything else. You know, when we ask our uh, Indian vacation rental industry, when we, when we do surveys with PMs, we say, you know, what is your biggest challenge and where are your biggest pain points? Um, you know, after after technology complexity comes homeowner relationships, right? And And actually being able to provide and get them to understand the value proposition of what property managers are actually doing on the operational side yeah. would that would that be would that be good for a for a for a private owner to see as well your course and, and get absolutely. to understand what this is happening yeah absolutely look i believe that just like a hotel um, operator would have a degree. I think that everyone in our industry should have a baseline education. Um, and to be able to really run a vacation rental property um, properly, but not only that, to be actually able to understand what it means to own a property and actually have it property managed and then have it rented out. So um, look, I think the industry um, has for years needed uh, to highlight education through different topics. And I think we here at Hotel School, have, we've really covered all these topics. And 100% of the homeowners would look, they really need to do these courses as well, just to understand what the property managers are actually doing for them. Um, and to, yeah, really understand that, um, that relationship. And I think the communication would be uh, probably more free flowing if they have arm themselves with that kind of education themselves as well. Definitely. So if I would be a property manager, I would sell these courses as I go and approach these homeowners and say, have a look at this first and then let's have a chat afterwards. You know, while margin compression is happening, an average homeowner is reducing the relationship to a vacation rental property manager just on the on the commission. That's what he sees he needs to pay, but not knowing what actually happens behind the scenes. So we're actually yeah. planning uh, in the next set of courses also to to produce courses that are exactly directed directly to homeowners as well um, to to help them further educate them what is needed to to run a good product but also for them to understand the entire industry and I think this makes it uh, extremely exciting um, now you know Looking at time and, and, and really uh, having thoroughly enjoyed this conversation with you, is there anything uh, from you, Natasha, first to give to the audience as a feedback on Hotel.School and AGL Atelier's production of vacation rental courses? Uh, what would you like to share with the industry as a closing note? Look, I think that um, I think that. You know, before anyone jumps into obviously the vacation rental sector, I think it's really important to take the time to educate yourself. Um, educate your staff and educate your property management um, business. Um, and like you were saying just now, actually the homeowners, um, because there is so much involved in what we do. Um, and I think these courses add so much, um, there's so much in these courses um, as far as resources, uh, if I was able to do this course years ago and be able to um, be aligned and um, what's the word for it, uh, be aligned and actually given the industry um, industry knowledge that, that you could get through doing one of these courses, oh look, it would have just made things so much easier for me. Um, but I also want to just say too that we have some great resources where we've partnered with some awesome industry companies. Now these companies you won't know about unless you do one of these courses. So um, look, at the end of each course and almost e every lesson, we are giving value there. And it's so fantastic that, you know, there, there's technology, um, uh, insurance. We talk about all sorts of different operational checklists that Patricia was talking about. There's a whole bunch of things that it's in there that actually can add so much um, ease to your life after you've done one of our courses. So look, it's been an absolute um, privilege and honour to actually be involved. And yeah, I can't wait to obviously launch like, like you guys and um, yeah, get it out there to the world. It's very exciting. Wonderful. Natasha, it was a super great pleasure to have you on that. And, and there's definitely more to come. Patricia. Well, I will say thank you again. And I just want to leave a message that in line with our resolve to actually make 
education more accessible. You know, that is why we did this with Hotel.School to begin with, is creating quality education that is priced fairly, that you know, people can take anytime, anywhere. Um, we are actually giving away 100 free courses out of the vacation rental collection. Um, so the post will go live today at 3 p.m. They normally go quick. Um, and we'll, 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 we want to share this. So 100 people will have the opportunity to do these courses for free. That's amazing. Wonderful. Wow. Yeah. Well, double pleasure uh, uh, for me as well to have the 10th edition of Red Shoes Talks today with two wonderful ladies, Natasha Morgan, all the way in Australia, close to Adelaide, and Patricia Inuma. Now I said it correctly. I'm very sorry and I apologize. Uh, as a moderator, this should not happen to me. And uh, it happened too quick, but thank you both so much for talking to me today on a very special day, 8th of December, 2020, Hotel.School and AGL Atelier are launching the vacation rental tutorials for the entire world. We are so proud, we're so excited, and we can't wait for the first 100, 200, and 300 downloads. And I'm sure what we have produced is exactly what the industry is looking for. And I'm sure there's more to come, ladies. Thank you very much for being with us. I wish you a wonderful day, a great launch. And then, of course, <clears throat> a Merry Christmas, a nice Christmas, uh, festive season, and hopefully some time that you can enjoy with your loved ones and your family. Thank you very much. <laughs>